Today, I'm gonna to turn this tool wall into this tool wall. If you've been following me on social media, you know that I have been reorganizing my entire shop. I bought a big CNC, I had to make room for it. What I decided was, this is the area that I want my workbench. I have some big windows, a lot of natural light that comes in. This is gonna be perfect. My first thing was I moved this tool wall from over there to over here, but it's just way too small for this wall. We gotta make this bigger. I picked up some 10 foot long tongue and groove boards. This is just pine. I think it's gonna work out just fine for this project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain it cause I'm kind of digging the dark color. I really like that. So I'm gonna stain all of this stuff, get it up on the wall. Then we'll figure out where should I put the tools. I got my tongue groove boards all put together and I cut off the ends and I really like how it looks. So now it's time to stain it. And instead of using a traditional oil-based stain, I'm going to use a water-based dye. I find that using dye on close pore woods like pine, it gives me a more even coat. The downside of this is that since it's water-based, it could raise the grain. So what I'm going to do is take a squirt bottle of water, spray the whole thing down. Once it dries, I'll give it a sanding, then I'll apply the dye. Time to take off the tools that I do have on the wall. And some of the stuff I'm gonna salvage, some of the stuff I won't. For instance, I really like how the squares fit into place. I have a little lip right here that my combination square fits into place. So I'll probably save these. I might save the one with my woodpecker square. Other ones like the chisels, I like to redo it, come up with something different. I also have several types of marking gauges that I need to figure out a way to mount those on the wall along with marking knives and then some files. Now that the boards are hung up, I'm gonna throw a coat of varnish on it. No need to get fancy, just need a little bit of protection.
the varnish on the wall is dry, so now it's time to hang up all the tools. And I got a bunch of them spread out here on the bench. I'm gonna start making little holders and stick them on the wall. I know I'm gonna change the stuff later. I just need to get it up there and live with it for a while and figure out what's gonna be best for my workflow. To hang up my flush trim saw, these things are kind of wobbly. So what I did was I took two pieces of pine and I glued them together. But this piece on the front, I cut out a really shallow notch so you can kind of see it. But my saw can just drop right in. This is my veneer saw. So I made a little jig for this one too. Actually what I did was I super glued a couple very thin pieces of pine on the back of this scrap wood that came from the shiplap. And then I went over to the disc sander and sanded it down so it's barely any there, but it gives me enough for my saw blade to sit into. I made a holder for my chisels and what I did was I used the CNC mainly because I just wanted to play with the CNC and I recessed some holes here that are uh, about seven eighths of an inch in diameter and then actually drilled all the way through with holes and then cut notches out which you can usually do this on a drill press on a bandsaw but the chisel fits right in sits inside that recess and it doesn't come out of there so it's pretty awesome and of course I made extra holes um, because it forces me to have to buy more tools. One thing that I desperately need is a place for drills and chargers and batteries and that kind of stuff. So over on one side of the tool wall, I'm gonna make a charging station. And I got a bunch of this red oak, so that's what I'm gonna make it out of.
Today, I'm focused on this big space right here behind me. So what I'm thinking is a logo. Seriously, I love how this turned out. It was exactly what was in my head. Everything is easy for me to get to now. I went from that dinky little four foot wall to a 10 foot spanning wall, and I can easily get to all the tools I need anytime that I want them. I can quickly grab my chisels. I got my hand planes. I have all of my squares that I need, saws, everything. We, we made a drill charging station. You don't know how much I needed that because I just have stuff laying all about. So this one was exciting. Thank you very much for following me along with this journey. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe and share the video with somebody who wants to build a tool wall themselves. And until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.